Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my another video series on YouTube. So hope you enjoyed my previous video. So uh, in this video we'll go and learn how we how uh, we can install and configure a radio server, a Wi-Fi radio server, and uh, WPA2 Enterprise uh, radio server for in server 2012. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, just like let's just take a simple example on how WPA2 Enterprise uh, work. So here is your client and AP and a radio server. So if you notice in WPA2 personal, uh, we don't have a radio server over here. So we just have a client and an AP. So client will direct early, uh, request uh, AP for it. Uh, IP or configuration file or any uh, setting. So in a WPA2 personal, the client will just key in the password and we directly is sent to the access point and access point will see whether the key is correct or not and then we uh, pass uh, whether the connection was successful or unsuccessful. So in the radius server scenario, what will we see here is a client will send a user id and password instead of key so uh, client will send a user id and password to the ap and ap will follow it to the radio server and the radio server will see whether the, uh, this username and user id and password exist in a radio server and meet the requirement for the radio server or not so this is a simple scenario uh, i just don't want to take uh, make it long so it's a simple scenario, you maybe hope you understand. So let's just go and see our radio server over here. So what we'll do today is uh, to configure a radio uh, WPA2 enterprise uh, radio server in a uh, server 2012. We need to install an Active Directory and a NPS server in a uh, server 2012. So today we we'll just go install a uh, radio uh, installer. Active Drive Free and uh, in uh, our next video we will go and learn how we can configure an NPS and uh, uh, a radio server for the P2 Enterprise. So we hope this will be the first part of the video. So uh, first we can configure, uh, add and roll over here or we can also install from a manage add and roll feature. So we will just use this. Uh, server manager and just click next installation type role based on feature so click next so my server name is radio server IP which is this one so I uh, currently I don't have a manual IP I have to sign a DSCP or you can just configure it to the uh, static IP so just click next so we want to install the active directory so add feature, so click next and click next, so active directory and so just click next and confirmation install. So while this is going on it will take us some few minutes or to run over and take a uh, uh, complete installation process so, oh, so till the time maybe I can Pause the video and we'll come back on up when it's completed. So the installation process has finished. So just close the this dialog box and here you can see one uh, notification. And I uh, promote the server to a dominant controller. Uh, in server 2012, uh, 2008, we have noticed that after installing Active Directory, we need to run a common uh, DC uh, promo. So in server 2012, this has an eliminated L. Uh, we can see over here the notification bar. So let's click this one. So this is exactly what we do in server 2008 uh, PC promo to promote our server. So add a new forest. So I don't currently have any forest, so don't do so but local.
so it will take some time on uh, the, the point of configuration to the solar. So what? Uh, so here is already finished. So uh, the forest functional level you can choose with the server 2000. 12 or 2000, uh, 2008 or 2003 so and the domain functional level is server 2012 so here you need to type in the uh, DCRM password for directory service restore mode so here you can see you can select server 2003 uh, and, uh, R2 or R2008 and server 2003 for the forest functional level and uh, for our current scenario we, we can just leave it as default um, because uh, we don't have any other server than server 2003 or server 2008 to be functional on, on our forest level so uh, we just key in the password for DCR so Next. And next. So, is an advice to when it should be a radius server or a counter server? Okay. Am I? Path for the Active Directory uh, domain service database login file for database folder and GTS uh, log file is over here and sys4 is over here so we can just list as default and click next and we request check over the next step over here is a request check So it will just take some time. So actually, why uh, why we deploy a WP2 enterprise in our network, in our home or office environment? Because it's more secure than a WP2 PSK or a personal. So if you are using a WP2 personal, uh, it might be compromised. Okay, so. For uh, server to uh, for uh, WP2 enterprise level, it's uh, it's user radius server and uh, it's uh, we consider it as a somewhat of more secure than a WP2 uh, personal. So just click on install on this one. So it will go and take some time for the installation process. And after installation process, it will restart and we can log into our domain server and we can go on and create an active directory user and group for our wireless uh, user environment. So in your in your office or in your uh, if you have a server 2012 or server 2008, you can deploy a radio server for your WP2 enterprise. So it's considered as more secure uh, than a WP2 personal. So while well, this is going on and installing, so I just uh, off my uh, pause my video, so I will be back after the installation process is completed. Uh, so we are back again. So our server has restarted over here. So we can just uh, log into our domain name that we have just created. So over here, Pontoso. Just log into the 
I don't remember. So the first login may talk, take a little bit of uh, time. Basically, uh, so we have. I think I have already logged into the server. Now what we will do is we will just go and create a, a user group and, and organization unit and add some users uh, and then we will also configure and go and install a certificate service active directory certificate service unit or server. So we have already logged into our server. So we just go and Open a server manager. So let's go and check whether we have. Uh, two main service running or not. So we have login for domain name counter servers local. Full computer name is radius server dot counter server local. So that's good. So our server name is going to be started. We can go to tools. And we can see over here our active directory is successfully installed. It. So we'll just go to active directory and use the computer group. So we'll just go over here and create a uh, let's go to our domain font also of local. So you can see over here but the building computers users. So we'll just right click to this one and create a new organization unit. Uh, let's give us name uh, let's use it. Click on protect uh, container from accidental deletion from getting deleted by accidentally. So we have one use, uh, wireless user group, and let me create another uh, group over here, organization unit. So it could be um, accounts. Okay, so let's just go under wireless. And on wireless, let's just create one uh, user. A1 1 password should not expire. And let's create one user. And let's create another new user. Let's just have two user. And A2. So we have two user and let's just create a new uh, new group security group uh, and security group for wireless. Mm, global and security okay so just double click this one a1 user or we can just double click a wireless user member so we can add a so we can add and our a1 and a2 okay so if you just go to a1 and c member of oh wireless group, wireless security group and it is also the member of a wireless security group. 
So an account we just create a new uh, user. So new user name is A3. So password name is class. And next. Finished. So I think that's all for this video. What we have done is we have just installed the Active Directory and we have just installed our uh, DNS and we have just make our server domain and controller. And what we did is that we create a uh, Active Directory user and a, a group and organization unit of uh, organization unit OU for a wireless and a account and a security group for a wireless and a three user account so in the next video what we'll do is uh, we'll just install a certificate service and also NPS server and we'll configure our AP2 um, our other server and just we make a one client connection so I think that's all for this video uh, ho hope you enjoyed this video and thanks you for watching and uh, that's all thank you see you Okay.